and welcome to our channel as usual please remember to subscribe comment subscribe in the section below invite a friend so hear what we have to say guys now tonight's video is about what was our lives like right. before, before we, we met, met. You know, story time right what kind of things were we into so things along that line uh, so here we go so we've been together two years now right two years and a couple months and yeah two years and a couple months guys now prior to us meeting a lot of you know me and um, you may know what i've been what i was doing i was into programming well most of my time was really programming 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 and i was also into personal development stuff so like um what's his name again les brown yeah les brown came to jamaica i was there um yeah and after we started talking i realized that she had gone to see Les Brown, not the one that I went to, but the one Previous. before that one. So I was like, whoa, you know, um, I tell you guys, you know, some of those content is what really, you know, brought us together. The personal development materials, yeah, we're very big on those things. And that was what kind of brought us together. In another video, we'll talk to you about how we met and stuff like that. Wait, wait. How did we meet? How did we meet? <laughs> How did we meet? <laughs> Continue. Alright, so babes, tell the people what you were doing before we met. I know you're talking about the seminars that you went to, um, things that you were posting on your own. Yes, talk to us about that. Okay. Before we meet, um, I was into a lot of personal development, um, online business, network marketing, um, hosting a lot of um, presentations, um, sharing the plans of different online business that I usually do, well I still do. <laughs> Um, going to workshops, um, seminars, personal development, and as we spoke before, we went to the Les Brown um, conference, but I went to the first one when Les Brown just came into Jamaica, and I learned quite a few stuff from Les Brown. And for me, and, and for me guys with Les Brown, I was always listening to his content. And I, I loved it. So when I saw that he was coming to Jamaica, I said to my friends at work, guys, this is not missing me, no matter how much the money. So and in total, we went to what? Two of them? Well, after we began dating, we went to Jack Canfield. He came oh, to Jamaica oh, yes, and yes. we went to that one. So guys, there are a couple of persons that have been with us along our journey. Les Brown, Jim Rohn, Jack Canfield, um, Napoleon, Hill, Napoleon Hill. yeah, content, yeah, writing can grow rich, those, those content, um, yeah, a couple of major speakers, and I tell you this much, guys, in life, you're going to come across uh, people that can have an impact on your life, it can be a positive impact, it can be a negative impact, yep. these guys, impacted our lives very positively it allowed us to look at life from different angles you know not being too reactive to situations around us we it allowed us just to look at life differently and think differently and it has been a really good journey for us um even now we're still we're still benefiting from those um persons um it is something that 
we try on a daily basis to at least come together as a couple and just listen to some of those materials look at our lives where we are and what we are going to do to make it better so yes before we met we were on similar paths similar paths guys and the universe does say yo yeah what see them two yeah you gotta bring them together and first of all i've learned that if you want your life to change your mindset has to change and that's where everything actually starts a change in life a change in mindset and you start to have the path of what whatever new you're learning and then you start attracting new things to your life so once you change your mindset about things then things start to really change and that's how we develop um a change from those materials that we read we listen to the seminars that we go and the people that were around us so we learned a lot to improve on our life and right. trust me right right it's and a journey because we're trying to maintain the mindset and learn new stuff to move on to different levels right yes. and I, I remember the, again before we met you know there was this guy brian tracy that spoke about time management time management and i tell you after going through his content guys it it had some major impact on my life i started to look at my life from a time perspective my hours what was i doing with my hours what was i doing with my days what was i doing with my weeks and did i have any goals so What's the name of that book not, well i don't fully remember them but um Brian Tracy had some talks on YouTube that spoke okay. sh straight, strictly about time management, you know, and it was very, very useful. And while I was listening to, to Brian Tracy, I came across uh, Jim Rohn, mm -hmm. and then Jim Rohn came with the word goals idea, you know, setting goals, breaking those goals into segments, into like smaller pieces, yeah. and then achieving those, and then, you know, those smaller things then come together and become a bigger goal so what he was basically saying is that you may have a big goal and because it's so big you don't take any action right right, right. so you just break it up in all right for me that really works because sometimes it might feel as you know some some persons know you're dressing sometimes you have some big here come big big volume here thick here and if you look at that big ear you, you might be turned off say, oh my God, I can't manage this here to do the style, right? So when you section it in small section and, you know, you do it in sections and, you know, work, work, work with it through the section come up, then, then it work out for you. You know, it, it work out easier for me right. to do it in sections. Right, so right. just like having a big goal. You break it up and you do it in small pieces and then you finally achieve, you know? Major, major. So basically that. Major. I remember for me, when I took on programming, as you all know, I am now doing a few stuff in, 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 in programming, but initially it was not easy. I I saw it and I said I wanted to take it on. You're really good at it. And uh, <laughs> for me, initially, I saw guys online that were doing what I wanted to do and I realized that if they could do it then I, I, I could actually do it too. And the same principle, you know, this week I said I'm going to learn how to allow somebody to click on a button and then get a reaction. So it's like I learned piece pieces of stuff and then when I learned piece pieces of stuff now, I put all of that together and build something. So over time, it became bigger and bigger so it's like bigger pieces turn into bigger pieces that turn into bigger pieces and then eventually you're going to reach a point where you know so much about a field or a subject or something that you can use that knowledge to do just about anything so guys i know for a lot of persons you know you might say programming is difficult but 
my experience is not is that it is not difficult but it takes a lot of time and patience and consistency to accomplish it but as we said earlier when you want to accomplish a goal you have to break it down into small bits and pieces if you look at the big old thing you're not gonna and you say you're gonna take it on me i tell you it's stressing you want you want to accomplish it guys you want to accomplish it and uh, i think for me prior to us being together i was always saying to myself that i hope that one day i can meet somebody that has a similar mindset yeah. as me you know uh, one thing i like about tanisha is that she is the one that she's the more positive one <laughs> you guys might say me positive no she 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 surpassed me <laughs> I will start talk some Wait, negative. Wait, what is it? conscience? No, no. no. <laughs> I will start talk some negative things, and she just stop me, Michelle, and don't say that. No, you become what you think about, and right. what you say, you know, right, right, determine right. your life. Yes. That so is peak positive over your life. That is so true. That is so true. So, you know, she being in my life is a blessing, friends. It is a blessing. And you know, my thing to you all is that when you're finally settling down with a partner, make sure that you guys have a similar outlook on life. Make sure that you guys have similar goals. It makes no sense that you know you both of you come together and your goals are over there and her goals are going in that direction. It's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be rough. You know, I, I know that but being positive is not easy you know people gonna laugh at you when you you're not you know involved into certain negative conversation or negative activities people gonna laugh after you when you're gonna make that transition yeah they did they did laugh at me yeah, yeah they yeah. criticized me and you know but you have to know what you want, want, what's best for you, and stay on that positive path. Yes, yeah. and yeah, along the way we have learned a lot of lessons. And as I said, this video is about before we met, so we don't really want to focus much about what's happening now, because there's going to be a video about what's happening now. So before we met, more yeah. on before we met. <laughs> yes, yes, more before we met. Yes. So, before we met, I... Well, I, the thing is that I read books, but I realized that reading books took up time. So I would burn stuff onto CDs, and while I'm driving, I'd be listening to the audios. Yeah, you I do know, that. Right. There were a couple of friends that I even introduced some of the content to, and they said, Sheldon, you know, said this really had an impact on my life, though. And I felt good about that, that I could actually impart something to somebody. That could have an impact on your life so my friends i know you will hear sometimes that you need to read 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 but so, nowadays we are so busy that we probably don't have the time to read but you can actually go on youtube download the content put it onto a cd now you have listen. right now you have other things you know you have your thumb drive you have your memory card you can put it onto that in your phone while you're walking anywhere you're going you can listen to it but i tell you my friends that listening to these contents over time will change your life for i listen the better. i listen to them even now sometimes when i'm doing bread i just put in my headphone and listen to something you know of substance right right and right you don't have your mind trained just learn while you're Based on what you're doing still. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know some person might be turned off and say, you know, they're, they are self-motivated and, <laughs> and they don't want to hear nothing from nobody because they can do it on their own. But it's not motivation, really. So you have good mater materials that you can learn from. Not only motivation, you can learn from and apply. We can apply them to our life. 
yeah. and improve our lives. Listen, my friends, I, I always say that, you know, there's always something to learn from someone. Yep. No matter what their lifestyle is, uh, what they're doing now, there's always some good that you can learn from someone who was there before you. And that is how I look at life. You know, don't just look at somebody and write them off because of this one bad deed that they had done. There were some good deeds. Find those good deeds and emulate them. You know, see where they can fit into your life to make it a better life. Now, as I said, before we met, we were just on this path of personal development, self-growth, and the journey, the journey had some hiccups, but I think for each of us individually, we just stayed focused on that path, and we never allow anything to take us off that path, which is a good thing. Anywhere the function was, anywhere the conferences was, anything that have to do with personal development, I was there. It doesn't matter what it cost me. I was there. Pick it by online long time. Because mm -hmm. I need to hear from somebody who I want to walk in their shoes someday. So <laughs> yeah, it's kinda cheap, so <laughs> me, me, me just find content online and download. Me, me, you know, but let's run kuna pass me. Let's <laughs> run stuff could not pass me. You know, let's run coming to Jamaica guys. I had to be there. No matter what, I had to be there. So I went. But there are other persons that came to Jamaica. The money was really hefty and I said, let's see if I can find them content online. I did find it and I did get some substance from it. So I think as you get older in life, you, your, 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 your outlook on life will change. I think sometimes you have to have your own experience. You know, fall down, get some bruises. Mm -hmm. feel the pain yeah. and then realize that oh crap you know I'm doing something wrong here that may change my life so right. you know they have we a learn from our experience right. as well you know and they have a saying that you can bring the donkey god the water but you can't yeah, force him to drink it. <laughs> eventually when you realize that you're really thirsty you might to drink it <laughs> and you know I think in my journey to here, there were persons that I actually, you know, brought the content to, the material to. You know, tell them about Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, and a couple others, and, you know, the response was negative. Yeah. You know, it was negative, but that was their journey. We're all on a journey. Yeah. We're, remember that, we're all on a journey, and we all have to experience our own journey based on our you know, I think sometimes the way how we are socialized growing up will have an impact on how we, you know, respond to certain content or certain material or people. Uh, we just have to learn how to from our mistakes. Yeah, and it depends on the direction that we want to head towards, you know. Yeah, we're going to be millionaires soon, you know. We, that's, what, that's, that's what we tell us every day during the yeah. rough, but, you know, we just keep having that positive mindset that, you know, we, we want to reach a point where in life where you know we are in a good space and we can add back value to others you know very important for us is that we want to add what value. is a millionaire really is a millionaire mm -hmm. who is a millionaire oh everybody have a different definition for that <laughs> right now i will read that book the millionaire next door <laughs> Oh, that book, yeah, that book, yeah. Read that book, guys. The Read Millionaire Next Door. Read that, Read that book. book. Read that book. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, thanks for watching. And we're asking, you know, please comment below. Give us your feedback on what we just spoke about. Um, subscribe. And uh, you know, give us a like. You know, we, our aim is to put out content that you guys can relate to, put out content that can add some value to your lives also, you know? Most definitely. Yeah. Thank you guys for Thank watching. Thank you for watching. See you next time. All right.